I like this model, but something is missing. I wanted to lean in a different direction. Let me show you a couple of small tweaks that can not only change the appearance and the feel of a model, but also make it your own using just two things, resin and trash. Hi, my name is Tobi and this is Paint Quest. First off, what is this model? It's the warband leader of the Untamed Beasts faction from the initial Warcry starter box that I recently acquired from eBay. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I think this model is just too bony for my taste. Especially here, here and here. In general it makes sense for the warband leader of the Untamed Beasts to have this appearance, but I have a different vision for this model. I want it to be more of a mix between Conan the Barbarian and E-Man. First step, the weapon. It should be the focal point of the miniature, second only to the head. I want the Barbarian to wield a sword. Initially I wanted to switch the weapon using a spare bit, but unfortunately I don't have anything compatible in my collection. So we'll need to use the first resource mentioned in the introduction, resin. I searched on Thingiverse for a nice 3D model of a sword for our Conan. After finding a suitable design, I created some supports and exported the file and asked a friend with 3D printer for a favor. As a result, I got the sword in a couple of different sizes. One of them just must fit. After stripping the mini, we can proceed and put the patient on the operating table. Snip, snap and the bone cleaver is gone. After some cleaning up, it's time to make the sword fit. The challenge here will be adding the sword and reusing the old grip from the hand holding the cleaver. Let's prepare the drill and make it happen. Attaching the sword in this manner will make the miniature more robust in case it falls over on the gaming table. However, when I clipped the lower part of the sword, the knob actually flew away and I couldn't find it. Therefore, we'll need to replace it with this Stormcast Spear knob. Once everything is glued in place, I believe it looks much better than before. What do you think? The bony armor will be painted metallic later to resemble normal armor, so we can move on to the last step, the bone claw. But before we do that, take a look at this. Yes, I actually acquired one and will build and paint it in a 24 hour challenge soon on this channel. What a massive undertaking. Make sure not to miss it as it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Okay, let's get back to the miniature. The step you've been waiting for, the trash build. For that we'll need this little piece here, a normal aluminum can. But first, why do we actually need this? The idea is to create something like this. Instead of bones, the back of the hand will be protected by small scales. To achieve this, we'll make great use of the aluminum can. The challenge lies in making a hole in the can, but once that is accomplished, normal scissors will suffice to cut through the thin metal. We will cut the metal sheet into small rectangular pieces and then into even smaller pieces to match the scale of the miniature. Then we can begin gluing the first pieces onto the back of the claw. Piece by piece we will layer the scales on top of each other. And this will be the result. Don't worry, after the miniature is reprimed, the color of the glued metal won't matter at all. And here is our barbarian converted on the left. Once painted as senior on the right, you can't tell that the model ever looked different. The painting style was a little experiment as most of the colors on the right side were wet blended. I'll be posting more pictures of this miniature on my Instagram, including a comparison to the next stage where I'll add more highlights to it in the heavy metal style. But overall, what do you think? If you enjoyed this small conversion, you will be even more amazed by the total conversions I have made on this channel. Here's a playlist with all the recent kit bashes. Take a look! Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye!